Okay, guys. We are going to, now that you're in Pixlr, we're going to click on Pixlr Editor. And last year you used Pixlr Express. But now this year we're using Pixlr Editor with the butterfly. So click on the butterfly and it will open up the editing screen. Uh, you want to open an image from your computer. So you're going to click on open image from computer because the first image that we opened up is from here. So you're going to open up your countryside picture that you saved to your desktop. And there it is. Now it looks kind of small, so we're going to open it up so it's bigger. And I can zoom in by going view, zoom in, view, zoom in. Okay, so we'll make it that big. Okay, and we want to add the mountains to this picture. So we want to go to File, and we want to open a new image, or we want to open an image, not new image, and we're going to go to Mountains. So I click on Mountain, and I open up Mountain. So here is my mountain picture. Okay, so I'm going to select, and I want to make this bigger too so I can work with it. So I'm going to go to View, Zoom In, View, Zoom In, okay? And once I zoom in, I'm going to use this tool right here called the Magic Wand. Now a little bit about the tools. The, the Magic Wand, or the Lasso tool, I should say, this is the Magic Wand tool, okay? The Lasso tool will let you pick different things, and it will let you select things. And here's what I mean. Uh, now that I have it selected, you can see my magic wand. I'm going to go around, and you can see those ants marching line that it made. So if I, if I draw a circle, there's my circle that I made with my magic wand. So now, I'll just select my mountains. And the way I undid that circle is if I make a circle and then I just click anywhere else, it'll get rid of the circle. So now I'm going around my mountain and you can kind of see it. And I'm just going to go to the other side of this mountain because I'm going to go back and I'm going to make it as straight as I can. And if it's not super straight, don't worry about it. We can fix it. So there's my mountain that I've selected. I'm going to copy that by going to Edit, Copy. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my countryside picture, which is underneath. Now, if you look over here, these are called layers. And you see this little trash can here? There's this little page with a flip on it. If I click on that, I made a new layer. So it's like a piece of plastic over top of my picture. Or like a... a yeah, like a plastic page over top. So I'm going to paste that on there. And there are my mountains. Okay. And I tried to find mountains that would kind of fit the picture. But you see how you can see the mountains behind my, or the trees behind my mountain. Well, I want to get rid of that. But I want to clean up my picture first a little bit. And because I'm on my layer, I can go to my eraser tool. And I'm going to change my eraser tool to a, instead of this big brush with the fuzzy edge, these brushes have sharp edges. These brushes have fuzzy edges. So I'm going to pick 20, and I'm going to go here and watch. I'll get rid of that little bit of sky that was in there, okay? And a little bit of this down here, and there's this, this cloud in the background here that I'll get rid of. Then I can also take this box. I can make a box. If I want to make a nice straight line, so I drag that over and I pull it down. And I'm going to hit delete. So now I have a nice flat bottom. Oh, and how do I get rid of that? those ants marching? I click with my lasso tool. Then I take my, my arrow tool, or this is my selecting tool, and I put it down here. But it's still not big enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this mountain bigger by going up to image, and I can or edit I should say and I can go to free transform now free transform lets you pull things to make them bigger 
So here it is. So now I put my mountains in my background. And I again, I hit my lasso, and it says, do you want to apply the changes? Yes. So I'm going to apply the changes. So now I have a road going back to a mountain in the background. Now it looks kind of fuzzy right now, but we'll fix all that at the end again.